These four panelists are well known to us all. Next to Pete Warden is Hans Mark, who served as the Senate Director from 1969 through 1977. We have Bill Ballhouse on the far end, served as the Senate Director from 1984 through 1989. In the middle of Hans and Bill is Dale Compton. Dale Compton was officially named Director of, on December the 20th in 1989 which happens to be the year of our 50th anniversary here at Ames Research Center. And he served until 1994. Then they are joined by our current director, Pete Warren, who became Senate Director in April 2006. So on August 1977, the first of the voyages lift off. September, the second voyager lifts off with 55 hellos. Bonjour, ciao, ni hao, shalom. Island was island. Hello, hello. We want to say hello. I want to say hello to you. 1979, a flyby Jupiter, and the scientists are excited. Jupiter's moon Io turns out to be the most volcanic body in the solar system. They had no idea. And Europa, another moon of Jupiter, covered with ice, but underneath that ice may be a salt sea bigger than the Atlantic and Pacific put together. There may be life.
Um, over the past few years, I've seen the excitement that you've generated with your work on the LCROSS and Kepler missions, and had the pleasure of meeting many of the scientists who have devoted a big piece of their careers to planning and carrying out these missions. Reporting a story this past summer about Ames' role in the Moon program for the 40th anniversary of the Apollo 11 landing, I gained a real appreciation for the history of which all of you at Ames can be very proud. Now, missions like Kepler and LCROSS, which are transforming how we think about solar systems beyond our own, and transforming how we think about our own moon, are carrying that legacy forward. But it's really my great honor to uh, welcome all of you to this, this really great celebration. It's a great night to reflect on, on uh, what NASA and NASA Ames in particular have done over the past 70 years. And to celebrate our present place in the universe of space exploration and to fortify us with food and drink. Uh, a toast to 70 years of profound achievement to 70 years of great and enduring friendships, to 70 years of seeing new generations enthralled by science and engineering, to 70 years of probing the outer edge of air and space, and to 70 more years to the NASA Ames Research Center. Here, here. Michelle Nichols, singer, actress, and producer. But congratulations on 70th anniversary because you, you, Ames, everyone who's ever done, this is one of the greatest centers in the world and you really deserve it in every blessed way. Well, congratulations to all the people of Ames, past and present, for 70 years of outstanding accomplishments and contributions to the nation's aerospace programs. And also congratulations to our new Hall of Fame fellows from, uh, from Ames, and one among them in particular, Jack Boyd. It's great to see Jack on that list, and Jack, congratulations from all of us. That's outstanding. <laughs> 